I'm Lauren Catalano, the principal at Somerset Prep DC, one of the fastest rising charter schools located in Ward 8. And here's why. Fun. Helpful. Happy. Fantastic. Awesome. Educational. Goofy. <laughs> <laughs> One of the things that, that has really made me feel special at being at Somerset, it's more of a family school. You get a family feeling. When I first started Somerset, you know, it was kind of a little bit off my behavior. Um, I've always been a small kid, so I wasn't worried about my education, but it was my behavior hanging around the wrong crowd, going the wrong direction, until I believe I got suspended once. And Mr. Griffin called me up to his office, and he said that he was going to adopt me. And ever since then, I took that to the heart. So I got my behavior on point, started hanging with the right crowd, you know, get the negative influences out of my life and only positive influences. And I changed the way I see things. A positive person with a positive attitude is a good person. They help us more than other schools would. Like some schools wouldn't really care if you got it or not, but this school does. The difference here at Somerset um, opposed to the other places that I've worked is the family oriented setting. And so when I came into Somerset, you know, I, I told my husband, I said, you know, this is really an exciting place to be and I really love being here. And I think the reason that I love being here so much is because I get the support that I need and I think the children really appreciate what we do here. I've never been in an environment, especially not a work environment, where I felt so supported by the other people that I work with as well as the students who I'm working for. It's like home. They're in need for attention from the, the community, the, the staff and what have you. And we as a staff, we do that. We give back to the students and because of the fact that we give back to them and we work with them, that, that makes the community a better place for the kids. A lot of times I know that some of the kids we have come here, you know, school is the safest place for them. This is a place that they're being nurtured all the time. The classrooms are smaller, so therefore the kids feel like they're getting the attention that they need. I mean, everyone is here for you. So if you ever need help with something, you can just go straight to someone and they'll help you. But a lot of our young males don't have dads in their lives. Um, I'm their daddy, auntie, granny, whatever it is that I have to be to make sure that they're okay. And I have a lot of fun here. You know, you can't explain fun. You just have it. It just happens. I think Somerset is different than other schools because it's more fun and it teaches you better. I feel like discipline has a big, um, it's a big entity of a learning environment. Um, I feel as though students have to be disciplined to be able to um, open themselves up to different techniques in learning. Um, I think that discipline is the foundation to um, the classroom and I also feel as though if your discipline is in place that learning can take place. We also have the ALC program too and that program is really interesting. It has career development, um, art therapy, um, and it's not punitive so it doesn't hurt the students. It actually gives the students just a day or a couple of days to just reset, refocus, and just think about the behavior that they exhibited in class, and then just kind of correct those behaviors with the support staff that comes into the ALC program. Here at Somerset, we have a progressive discipline policy that we go by. And when I say progressive, I mean um, we start as low as if a student violates our school policy, we start as low as um, conferences with our students and then we bump it up to maybe a parent teacher's conference with an admin um, involved at that, pers at that point. Um, and then we move forward with our behavior specialist that we, um, we individualize our students according to their violations and we sit them with a behavior specialist and we try to target the actual behavior. One of my prize roles is to assist our students to succeed both academically and behaviorally. And we do this through our monthly guidance lessons that are based on our character traits. For example, this month was tolerance, previously patience, gratitude, respect. And we do this so they not only succeed and be role models in our school, but also for our community as well. Somerset is different because Somerset puts you at higher standards. Having Somerset here has really been a game changer in this neighborhood. I think that so many of the other public schools in particular in the area 
there's a culture where a lot of things seem to just be accepted. And at Somerset, we came in and say, that's not going to be accepted. And we're, we are going to set a whole new standard. And so I feel like the kids who want to come to Somerset will hopefully have the opportunity to come to Somerset and really get to see things through a different lens and will be exposed to so many new programs and opportunities that they wouldn't get to have if they were at any other of the neighborhood schools. One thing I can say is it's technology based and a lot of schools are not technology based so we get more opportunities than other people. Each particular classroom has a 21st century classroom with either a smart board or a Promethean board uh, that uh, engages our students in various types of academic success. As we all know technology is um, it's extremely important with the youth of today. It can also be a future career for the kids. I like the new MacBooks. I really do like the new MacBooks. I also provide after school programs, robotics and computer engineering programs for these kids. It blends all the things that they do in the classroom, from science to math to writing, English, everything. This is where they come and then they put it all together. I'm not really there to teach them, I only like, I only there to coach them. I like them to make mistakes and when they get it right, that's when the light goes up and I really love to see that moment when they're like, ah, that's it. You're not only learning about what you're supposed to learn, you learn about fun things like learning how to make a yearbook, a newspaper, a new show. Hello, Bulldog. The uh, communications and technology, there's been a lot of schools that have been attempting to do the communications and technology program, but I'm seeing within our third year we're already doing recordings, they, you know, doing news and it's a weekly announcements and things like that. So within the third year, we're already recording and it seems like we're catching up quick. My favorite subject is communications because I get to work on your book and take pictures of other people and have fun with my friends. We expose our kids to technology. We get everything that the kids need to succeed in technology for them. We almost have one-to-one -one computer to student, computers to students, and not only computers, we, we get in, um, iPad, doing computer engineering and trying to get these kids to the point that when they finish and they don't even want to go to college, they can get ready for their A plus certification as an entry level technician in technology with any organization that they choose. Somerset has a very interesting component. Um, they have a dual enrollment program for high school students. The students can earn college credits while attending Somerset Prep. They will also be able to explore the area of interest and expertise, so that way when it's time to declare a major, they won't have to change majors, because according to collegeboard.com, a college student at least once changes their major. This not only saves both time and money, which I think is incredibly crucial. Me and Ms. Catalano talked about it, about UDC helping me, um, she's trying to help me get into UDC so I could take at least one class of a college course every day. The other schools that I worked in, we didn't have dual enrollment and I think that's a big asset for students to be able to finish and graduate with their associates and their uh, the diploma. They're gonna be college ready and job ready when they finish. We go into the health classrooms and we work with the health teachers and we provide some assistance in teaching health as well as teaching pregnancy prevention. Focus a lot on um, self-esteem building. So a lot of what we do is about building the kids' self-esteem so that they won't be so quickly to adhere to risky behaviors. In the summertime we operate a summer program where we have dance and drama, um, painting and just um, individualized sports. So we kind of expand it a little bit more, give them an even broader horizon from golf to tennis to track. Um, to poetry slam, you know, drama, you know, those type of things to help uh, give them bet more options so that they can find out, you know, not only just who they are, but where they can go from here. Because when you know who you are in your core, then that will sustain you as you go on through your life. Uh, Somerset actually has a great impact uh, as it relates to the community. One particular aspect that we have an initiative this year is called our Parent University, where we uh, have partnered with various local community partners, such as Wells Fargo, uh, DC Health Department, as well as uh, local uh, fitness centers uh, to provide extra wellness and support to our parents. Uh, Somerset believes in holistic approach with not only supporting our students, but our parents as well, to make uh, Ward 8, as well as our community, a vibrant community for uh, the 21st century.
resources. We have a lot of outside resources with um, OIC that we can not just give to the students, but we can give to the parents too because we have a workforce development program. So we have parents that may need jobs or they may need training in Microsoft Word or A+, um, those type of things. So then they can come to OIC and get those trainings. Somerset Prep DC is a school that has behavioral services that they provide to their students. They have tutoring services that they provide to their students as well. Those services are absolutely free. No charge to you at all. I run a distinguished gentleman program at the school and this program basically teaches young men, well young boys, how to become men. And in this program, first I teach them how to, to dress appropriately. Um, I don't accept the fact that um, sagging pants and underwear showing, that's not acceptable in our society, not to me anyway. So in this program I teach the guys how to you know, dress the appropriate way. Um, we have etiquette programs. Distinguished gentlemen teach a male how to be a male and a sophisticated lady teach a female how to be a young woman. So the name of my mentoring program is Sophisticated Ladies. I love them too, you know, I'm always telling them I love them, but I think it's great to hear that sometimes, we don't hear it enough. Uh, I have about 25 let girls in the program, and some of the things that I try to teach them, and that is how to be a lady. And sometimes, even in our little classes, mentoring classes, I even model for them. And I just walk down the aisle, and I say, you know, what does Mrs. Morris have on today? Do I have on something dressy? or do I have on something casual? So I want you to know how to dress. You represent this school. So when you come in to Somerset, people will know that you are a lady who knows how to carry, them, carry herself. And that's what I really try to teach them, how to set a table, how to dress their hair, how to dress, how to be courteous, and if you're gonna do all those things, you're gonna be a leader. You know, I would say this, three things, one, Somerset is committed to providing the full continuum of services for students who have unique needs. Um, we, don't, we don't believe that one size fits all. We believe that every child is uniquely different and we should program that way. The second thing is educational resources. We try to provide an umbrella of resources for kids who need it. And then the last thing is we're doing things with innovation um, as it relates to re providing related services for kids. We're creative about it. We don't believe necessarily in sticking with traditional practices. We're, all, we're perfectly okay with saying we're gonna do it differently. You know, I love what I do and I love what I'm here to do, but it's the, the things I didn't expect to be doing that really mean the most to me. Um, I'm also a coach here and I think the time I spend after school and the time where I'm really not on the clock is when I feel like I really get to know everybody the best. Um, and that's when I feel like I really make an impact as well. I feel like it's a privilege. One of the best things for me, I'm actually from this area. Um, I grew up right here in the neighborhoods. I went to, actually almost ended up going here to this campus here, but I ended up going to schools within a block away to here. So it's just a privilege to be able to come back, give back, and work with the uh, kids there. And when I see some of them, I look at myself a lot and just, uh, just laugh, but um, that's just the privilege. Um, the curriculum is excellent. And the fact that you have not only caring teachers at the school, but you have a caring administration at the school that cares for the kids. And um, once you have all of those things set in place, then you can have a, an excellent experience. And that's what our children need. They need an experience that will be everlasting and they can, they can carry on the rest of their lives. The teachers, all of the staff, whether it's the PE teacher, the special education teacher, the English teacher, all of the teachers basically work together along with the support staff. I think that this school has a tremendous impact in the surrounding community um, as far as holding the students and the parents accountable for the students' education. I think that Somerset is a stabilizing force. It's important for me to do well because if I don't have an education, then I won't make it far in life. You need education and when you want to do your future or experience, you're going to need education in your mind and in your environment to get what you need and get what you want to do during life because that's a part of life. It's important to me to do well, so I'm going to be living with my mother when I get 21, 22 years old and won't be in the streets. If you want to go far in life, education is the key. So when I grow up, I won't be living on the streets. I want to be a successful accountant when I get older. 
a singer or a rapper? Future president. Astronaut. Become a music writer. Our students uh, come ready to learn. Uh, they come eager to see what each day holds for them. Uh, they are 21st century learners that expect for our teachers as well as the administration to give 110%. Our parents are very much involved as it relates to not only the academic success, but their holistic support uh, with supporting the vision of Somerset through Live, Lead and Learn. If you're interested in an innovative school focusing on communication, technology, and college dual enrollment, contact us at 202-562-9170.